This is a video about writing Python functions that work with lists or arrays. The function we're going to write is called odds under. It's going to be given in the number n, and what it's going to do is return a list of all the positive odd numbers that are less than n. Before we write the function itself, let's go write the tests. Here are the tests I wrote. I'm going to assert that if I call odds under with 5, I'm going to get back the list consisting of just 1 and 3. Odds under 10 will return the list 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. And odds under 0 should return the empty list. Now we're ready to write the body of the function itself. Let's use the list builder for this. We're going to return the list of x for x in range 0 to n if x, remainder 2, is equal to 1. So the way this works is it starts by computing the range of 0 to n. Let's say n is 10. So this would be the list of the numbers 0 through 9. Then it loops x across that list and then applies this filter to it. If the filter is true, it will then add x to the list. So the first time through the loop, the value of x is 0. x remainder 2 is not 1, so it does not add x to the list. The next time, the value of x is 1, the remainder is 1, so it does add x to the list. Then the value of x is 2. x remainder 2 is not 1, it's 0, so x does not get added in. And then x will be 3. The remainder is 1, so we'll add 3 to the list. And this continues all the way until we reach the end of the list when, when x is 9. This newly constructed list of all the odd numbers between 0 and n is then returned back to the caller. Let's run this module along with its tests and find out if it worked. And we get all tests have passed. Let's look at a different function. This one is called even odd list. We're going to be given a list of numbers, and I want it to return a new list with each number replaced by even or odd in the new list. Now again, before we write the body of the function, let's write the test for it. Here are the tests that I wrote. If even odd list is past the list 4, 5, I should get back the list even odd. If I'm given the list 10, 0, negative 4, that should be the list of even, even, even. And if I pass it the empty list, I should get back the empty list. Let's go back and write the body of the function. Here's the function I came up with using traditional looping methods. We start with an empty list and a counter that starts at 0. And as long as that counter is less than the length of the list that we were passed in, we'll check each element of the list. If that number is even by computing the remainder of dividing by 2, then we'll append on the word even. Otherwise, we'll append on the word odd and then increment the counter. When we're done with the loop, we'll return the entire new list. Let's see if the test pass. And yes, they do. Now, there's several ways we could do this function. Uh, one obvious improvement we could make is instead of checking to see whether the number is even or odd, why don't we make use of the function we already have that does that job for us? All we have to do is replace this section here that says list.append even odd of nums sub i. It's going to pull out the element of the numbers list and then call the even odd function, get back the word even or odd, and then append that to the list. Let's see if this version works also. It's a good thing we have those automated tests because we can just refactor the program like this and find out if those changes worked. And all the tests passed, so we're pretty confident that they worked. I think we can write a more concise version that uses List Builder. We're going to return the list of even odd of, let's call it n, for n in nums. The way this one works is it takes the numbers list and it loops across it, applying n to each one, and then applies the even odd function to each one of those n's and builds the list out of that. Let's see if this works.
and all the tests passed. See how we went from the traditional looping methods to a more concise one that uses the function that we already had, the even odd, to an even more concise one that uses List Builder. List Builder is an incredibly powerful tool to build lists out of the inputs that you're getting to the function. Anytime you are given a problem where you need to build a list out of an input, think about using List Builder to do that work for you. As a final check, let's go to the idle shell and try out some of these functions by typing them in. Even odd list. Let's give it an, a list like 8, 3, 2, negative 9, 0. And we get even, odd, 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 even. That looks pretty good. Let's try odds under, and let's give it a big number, like 100. And we can see we get a nice list of all the odd numbers between 1 and 100. Odds under, uh, we could try something even bigger than that. Well, let's, let's just try 0, see what we get. See, we get the empty list there. And let's try this. Let's combine the two. Even, odd, list of odds under 10. I don't, well, let's, let's do 100. I don't claim this is terribly useful, but you can see what happens when we combine functions like this. Yep, we just got a list of all the words odd, um, but that's exactly what we're asking for. We construct a list of all the odds under 100, and then we pass that to the even odd list, and it comes back and gives us a list of all the word odd.